All right, guys, here's the unboxing of the Revisol steering wheel for my C6 Corvette. Quick unboxing before I do the full review. It's packaged nicely for whatever it's worth. It's not just thrown together. This is all that came in the box. No papers, no documents, not even a receipt, but that's all right. What do you expect? It is a budget steering wheel. All right. You know what? It smells like a new car. That's a bonus right there. All right, and I'm going to carefully cut this because I don't want to cut into the steering wheel itself. Oh. You know what? I'm going to go even safer on this side. All right. Almost there, guys. Hang tight. Okay. Put the sharp stuff away. Let's take a look. Well, I got to tell you, I think the reports of it being a pretty high quality product are not exactly exaggerated. Stitching's a little bright for my taste. It's not going to match my seats. And this is the thing. I, I didn't really want to get the stripe, but I, that's the only way I could get the red stitching, which is what my seats have. So I wanted it to kind of match. But the carbon fiber looks pretty good. It feels good. It feels solid. It feels like a steering wheel should. The only thing I don't like about it, and I was afraid this would be the case, is this is a lot thicker than the factory steering wheel. It's, it's got a flat part to it instead of being round, you know, like the rest of this, well, like the factory steering wheel. But, you know, take the good with the bad. Again, it's a $400 steering wheel. And again, this is the real carbon fiber one, not the hydro dip version. I really haven't been able to find much of a flaw. Well, I guess soon I'm going to have to do the swap. And uh, stay tuned. I'll do a video about that. But this is all I had time for right now. So hope it helps make the decision whether or not you should get one. If this doesn't, then maybe my full installation and review will. See you then.